It's confident computing number 813. Who's trying to change my password? Why it happens and what to do. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Like the new look, a little bit brighter. Uh, obviously things are changing up here at Ask Leo World Headquarters. We're trying to improve the look and feel of the, uh, the videos that I produce. So this week, our featured article is all about getting those weird, almost creepy emails that uh, indicate someone has tried to initiate a password reset on your account and it wasn't you. So that happens. It happens for a variety of reasons. And who's trying to change my password is the article that discusses it in more detail and what if anything, you need to do and just how worried you need to be. Also this week, you know, you've got a new machine. Great. But what about the old hard drive in that old machine? You want to do something with it? Got a couple of ideas. Can I move my old computer's hard drive to my new computer to transfer data actually covers what those ideas are. There are a couple of them and one of them actually is pretty useful and what I end up doing myself. If you've got a Microsoft account, and honestly these days, who doesn't? Almost everyone has a Microsoft account of some sort to log into their PC or to access Microsoft's online resources. There is something you want if you have a Microsoft account, and it's not something everyone has. I strongly recommend you do get the Microsoft account recovery code. What and why with instructions included, covers what you need to do. So with all of the working from home we've all been doing lately, it's situation normal for me, but I know that it's definitely something new for a lot of people. We're all stressing our Wi-Fi. And in fact, I suspect a number are stressing about their Wi-Fi and perhaps it's poor performance. Five steps to better Wi-Fi in your house, improving your wireless connection has a number of things that you can do to basically make your Wi-Fi work better, or at least make your connection, your network connection work better, be more reliable and be more stable. This week on the TEH podcast, Gary and I talked about a number of things, including terminology, old terminology that's been around forever that a lot of us take for granted that probably ought to change. We're also talking about batteries. Bigger, well, bigger is better. Longer lasting is definitely better. Apple, speaking of big, they're big, as in really big. And they're possibly dropping support for the x86 processor in future versions of the Mac. That'll be interesting. I talk a little bit about, of all things, pipe organs. And we talk about the show Devs. If you haven't seen it, strongly recommend it. It's pretty cool. And as always, there's a lot more we talk about in our hour filled discussion. Uh, TEH 102 tech terms may need change. Getting more battery life and a new Apple processor is the link to the episode this week. As always, I look forward to your comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, be safe, be kind, take care of one another, and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.